Welcome to Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that was established in 2009 and is still inactive today. With divine inspiration, Pastor Paul Rika is an inspired teacher of holiness. His fervent teachings will take listeners to a new level of understanding, holiness, and righteousness. Come to this faith, your child shall be healed. People shall get out of their life, whether they're here or not here. Come to this faith, your husband shall be delivered. That demon shall fly away in the name of Jesus. and empower for end time exploits for God. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Tell God you are the one I'm talking about. Tell God you are the one going with this power. Ah, Jesus, you are still young. You are still young. You are still getting, you will go with this power. Holy Ghost, hey, receive, receive. Receive the Holy Ghost, power of the Holy Spirit, power of the Holy Spirit, anointed for end time exploit, anointed for end time, end time exploit, anointed for end time exploit. Receive the Holy Ghost, 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 anointing for service, anointing for service, anointing for service, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, receive the Holy Ghost, receive the Holy Ghost, anointing, anointing power, the power of the Holy Ghost, the power of the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, hallelujah, go, by the anointing we shall break the yokes, by the anointing we shall break the yokes, by the anointing Jesus broke the yoke, hallelujah, hallelujah, Hallelujah. Receive. Receive. By the power of God. Receive. Receive. Receive the Holy Ghost. 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 Receive the power of the Lord. Receive the power of the Lord. Receive. Receive the Holy Ghost. 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 Holy Ghost. The power of the Lord. 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 Receive. 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 Holy Ghost upon you. Holy Ghost upon you. Holy Ghost is upon you. Power in the camp. Power in the house. Power everywhere. Power. Drink the Holy Ghost. Receive. Receive, 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 receive. Ah! Hallelujah. By the anointing, Jesus broke the yoke. By the Holy Ghost and power, just as the prophet spoke, these the days to the letter read, God is moving in his power again. By 
the anointing we shall break the yoke. By the anointing, Jesus broke the yoke. By the Holy Ghost and power, just as the prophet spoke. This is the day to the letter read. God is moving in the power again. By the anointing we shall break the yoke. Not my mind. Not by power, by my spirit, says the Lord. Not by my, not by power, by my spirit, says the Lord. This mountain must be removed. This mountain must be removed in Jesus' name. This Mountain must be removed from your life by my spirit, says the Lord. By the anointing, Jesus broke the yoke. By the Holy Ghost and power, just as the prophet spoke. These are the days of the letter read. God takes moving in his power again. By the anointing, Jesus broke. Die by the anointing, Jesus broke the yoke by the Holy Ghost and power, just as the prophet spoke. This are the days of the letter read. God is moving in his power again. By the anointing, we shall break the yoke, not by might, not by power, by my spirit. Says the Lord, not by mind, not by power, by my spirit. Says the Lord, this mountain must be removed from this church. This mountain must be removed in Jesus' name. This mountain must be removed. Hallelujah. By my spirit, says the Lord. This mountain must be removed. This mountain must be removed in Jesus' name. This mountain must be removed. Hallelujah. By my spirit, says the Lord. Power, Holy Ghost power, power from heaven, power from heaven, power from heaven, power from heaven, power from heaven. Receive, 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 receive. Youths purified and empowered for end time exploits for God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Holy God, Holy God, Holy God, like the days of Pentecost, the days of Pentecost, like the days of Pentecost, Holy God, Holy God upon you, Holy God upon you, Holy God upon you, the days of Pentecost are here. The day of Pentecost is here. The day of Pentecost is here. The Holy Ghost. 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 Receive. 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 
the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. Everybody be baptized, be baptized, be baptized by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost. Day of Pentecost, the day of Pentecost, the day of Pentecost, the day of Pentecost, the day of Pentecost is here. The day of Pentecost is here. The day of Pentecost is here. Today, today in your life, today. And they began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And they began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And they began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And they began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Receive! 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 The Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost for end time exploit, end time exploit, end time exploit. Baptized with the Holy Ghost, baptized with the Holy Ghost, baptized with the Holy Ghost, baptized with the Holy Ghost. Hey, receive it. Let it be baptized. Let the young ones, let the old ones receive. Men and women receive the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost. Let them give you a chance. Let them give you a chance. Let them give you a chance. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost power. Receive. Thank you, Jesus. Bah. Baptize them. Baptize them. Baptize them. Baptize them. Baptize them. In Jesus' name, we pray. The Lord told you he will be here and that today is a day of power. That's what you're seeing. That's what you're seeing. That's what you're seeing. More is coming. More is coming. More is coming on your way. More is going on. More is going on. The Lord is here himself. Hallelujah. I am see, I'm feeling him now. I'm feeling him now. Ah, the Lord is here. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Power. Glory to your name. He's doing his work. He's doing his work. Deliverance, salvation, cleansing is going on. The Lord is putting things right for his name. The Lord is empowering the vessels of God. Vessels unto honor. Jesus, worship you. Glory to your name. Thank you, Lord. Worship you. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Jesus' name, 
We pray. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you for doing it. You will do more. Jesus' name, we pray. You can be seated. The danger of, sorry, youths purify and empower for end time exploits for God. Control that. God called you for a purpose. Yes. Firstly, he wants to cleanse you from your idols, from satanism, sin and defilement. That is why he brought you here. In Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 25 to 28. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you. Ezekiel 36 verse 25. And ye shall be clean. The, the clean water of the word of God has been sprinkled upon you. I brought you here that I might Sprinkle clean water upon you to make you clean. Yeah. From all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. From all your defilement. From all those idolatrous, satanic things you were doing, I'm going to cleanse you. I'm sure the Lord has done that for you. I'm sure the Lord has removed you from those dirty things, dirty lies. That is his purpose of laying hand upon you. Yes. By the sprinkling of the water, the Bible says, Now ye are clean through the word that I have spoken unto you. The word has washed you. The word has changed you. The word has transformed you. The word has delivered you. Born again by the word of God. You have had the word and now you are born again. Yes. That is what God wants to achieve in your life. Secondly, he wants to sanctify and make you holy in heart and life. Yes. In verse 26, a new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you and I will take away the stony heart, the stubborn heart, the wicked heart out of your flesh and I will give you and heart of flesh, a soft heart, a gentle heart. You will be gentle, not rough. Yeah. A loving heart, a sympathetic heart, not the heart of the devil that makes you have no human sympathy. I will give you a heart that can show mercy 
to human beings, can pity people, can sympathize with people. God will want to sanctify you, make you further clean, make you holy. Yes, he wants to sanctify you, cleanse you. Blessed are the pure in heart. They will see God. He wants to give you the heart that will see God. The holy heart. He will take away that heart of envy. That heart of lust. That heart of pride. That heart that is always looking to fight. Always looking to steal. No. That is a stony heart. The satanic heart. It came from Satan. The heart that wants to eat excreta. I will cleanse that heart. Wash it thoroughly. Yes. Again. The third thing he said, he wants to empower you with the Holy Ghost for his goodly uses in his kingdom. He wants to pour heavenly power upon your heart, fill you with it. He wants, to, he wants to baptize you with the Holy Ghost. That's his plan. Verse 27. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. And ye shall keep my judgments and do them. That is what he wants a thorough change. Like Apostle Paul called Saul of Tarsus, changed by the power of God. So God wants to do in your life. Those evil things, armed robbery. That you're using your heart to go and do armed robbery, do kidnapping. He wants to turn that heart to himself to do good work. You're an agent. You're going about connecting things for people. Evil things, evil connections. Wants to change that heart and make that heart connect human beings with God. Connect them to God. Connect them to God. Now, this is what God wants to do. In your life, you have started. Submit your life to God for cleansing. Submit yourself to God for cleansing. Let Him do to you as He wants. When the angel of the Lord told Mary, You are going to give birth to the Son of God. He said, How can this thing be seeing? I know not a man. He said, the spirit of the Lord shall come upon you. The power of the highest shall overshadow you. And the thing that shall be found in you shall be called the son of the highest. Mary said, I am the handmaid of God. Let him do to me what he desires. That is what you should say. God, you created me. Do with me, do to me what you desire. Abraham carried Isaac, bound him, got a knife to cut his neck, 
As he was lying down quiet, Daddy, it's you who gave birth to me. Whatever God says you should do to me, go ahead. Surrender like that to God. Isaac lived. His name is living forever. Surrender like that. You will live. Your name will live. Your name will be in the good, in the good book of records. Your name will ring in heaven. Total surrender. Do to me, Lord, what you want in my life. Then you should know that there are things in your life that you need to confess to expose for thorough cleansing. They are buried deep in your heart. Only you know about them. Only you and a few people. Only you and one person again. Only you and Satan also know about it. Confess them. Bring them out. That is what the Lord is saying. If you hide those things, you will not be cleansed by God. You will not. God wants to massage your life. Why are you stopping his hand from reaching the other place? He wants blood to flow. Why don't you yield your whole body for God to massage? In the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 13, the Bible says, He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. He that covers his sins, not wanting to confess them, not wanting to reveal them, even before God, before the man of God, shall not make progress, shall not succeed, shall not be delivered. But he that confesses them, reveals them, says them out, and promises never to go back to them anymore. He is the one that shall have divine oppression of cleansing in his life. You are of the water spirit. Where are you hiding? Is that a good place? Where are you hiding bad thing? Where are you hiding, hiding bad thing? A particular lady was damaged in one eye. What happened to your ah? She told the story. I was playing and Neil entered into my ah. I went to hide it. I didn't tell them, my people until it became too much. Before I revealed it, the thing had become rotten. So I lost that eye. Why must you lose your life? Why are you hiding? Why are you hiding your witchcraft? Why? you will not prosper. Why are you hiding your theft? Your thefts. Why are you hiding your abortion? Whatever sin that is, if you don't say them out, no rest, no peace. Have you stolen some properties and need to amend your ways Say so, go and do it. In your house are stolen things. Go and reveal them. Bring them out of your house. Otherwise, there's a demonic dog that is watching over those things in your house. A dog, demonic dog is watching over those things. And no good man will enter there because the demonic dog will not allow him. 
go and clear those things and let that dog leave that place. Then you'll find good people coming there. Did you practice witchcraft and occultism and have some properties in your possession? Confess it and show the properties and your past evil life, what you used to do in the hand of Satan by the wicked heart he gave you. God wants people to know so that others can be encouraged also to come to God. They will say, if you went to this extent, could come and say it, then they have not even gone, have not even gone as far as you. They will also come up and, serve, and confess, you have saved somebody. And it will be to your reward. In Acts of Apostles, chapter 19, verse 18 to 20, Acts, Chapter 19, verse 18 to 20. And many that believed came and confessed and showed their deeds. Many of them also, which used curious or magical or witchcraft arts, brought their books together and burnt them before all men. And they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver. So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed in their lives and in the society because people also began to confess demonic things, demonic involvements, demonic activities they were doing and all those things. And with prayer, all the demons left that place. The word of God took over. Confess it. Don't mind. Hey, it is in the church. You are a leader. Forget it. When you go to hell, will you be a leader there? Who will gather congregation for you again? Because at that time, you will gather the people who say everything. You won't find. Because the time has passed. Are you wrongly married? And did not follow the legal way, say so. Say so. I am a second wife. Oh, I have married, I have sent away my wife, and I am married to another woman. In, in the book of Romans, chapter 7. Romans. Chapter 7, verse 2 and verse 3. The Bible says, For the woman which had an husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he liveth. But if the husband be dead, she is loosed from the law of her husband. So then, if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man. She shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law, so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. What is it saying here? There is a divine law that is binding marriage. A divine law. There is a divine constitution that surrounds marriage. There is a divine decree that God has made concerning marriage that any woman that gets married to a man in a complete sense of marriage. The parents are aware and they agree to it. The man collected the woman, the woman came in, they are marrying. That marriage is until one of them dies. 
either until the man dies or until the woman dies. It seems something is happening. This mystery is happening to doves. This bird, dove. You see them too all the time. Two, two, man, woman, man, woman. If you see only one, I think the other one has died. Man, woman, man, woman. God made man superior to the animals. If you get a wife, you are, and it has, it has become a wife. It's not immorality you're committing with her. It's a woman. Why? You are bound to that woman until you die or until she dies. If while one of you is still alive, the one, go, the other goes to marry another woman or marry another man, the, the word of God declares her, declares him, as an adulterer, adulteress, no adulterer, adulteress, have any portion in heaven. Whether she goes to found her church, whether he is called a bishop, called a bishop, whether he is opening the eyes of the blind in the name of Jesus, finish opening eyes of blind and go to hell. Because you have left your first wife, you are committing adultery with another woman. But we didn't stay long in our marriage. I said that one day, that one day that you met together, husband and wife, man and woman, in the name of marriage, having married, not boyfriend and girlfriend, that seals the marriage. So it's a help to you young ones don't run. Don't allow your sexual appetite to make you carry somebody and you come and discover this person is like this. This person is like this. There is no way anymore. Forever. If you send her away, then you must remain unmarried. Forever. You must remain unmarried. That is the situation. Therefore, these things have to be amended. Otherwise, no real Christianity shall go on. But you are saying, what about the other churches? Our church, where I came from, they don't know Jesus. They are not teaching correctly. They are not. They are not. They are, they are sending people to hell. They don't know the truth. So will you go to a place of lying? Will you be following lies? What shall be your end? Yeah. That is what the Lord wants you to know. This genuine, wholehearted confession is required for thorough cleansing in your life. In the book of Psalm 32, verse 3 to verse 5. Psalm 32, verse 3 to verse 5. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. This man had committed sin. Yeah, the name of the man was David that committed sin with Uriah's wife. He didn't confess it. He was ashamed. He even sent and they killed Uriah in the war. He was ashamed, dignified David, general overseer David. How will I say with all this my music, with all this thing, everybody knows I'm righteous, I'm holy. Hey, how will I say? So he kept quiet. He couldn't confess it. 
But some people knew. The man you sent to go and call Beersheba from her house, she knew what you did. That man has a close friend, and he has told his friend. That other friend also has his close friend. He has told, in fact, the thing has gone like that. So, David said, I said I would not reveal this thing. My bones were making noise in, in my body. Hey, if I die now, if I die now, oh, hey, if I die now, if I die now, I can't sleep. Some of you, they tell you you should take drugs so that you will sleep. After the drug is over, it will come back. Conviction. Take another drug. After the drug, it will come back. Go and take alcohol. Take it until you will get mad. Add madness to your sin. The best thing. Then he said, because he could not rest, he could not. Never. I acknowledge my sin unto thee. And mine iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord. It's too much. Let me say this thing out. If you don't say it out, what your father did to you, if you don't say it, say it out, what your mother did to you, you won't forget it. It will be disturbing your conscience every day. Anytime you want to draw near God, it will come up. It will come up. How much more when you die? Terrible. You go to hell with it. Then he said, I say it, I will confess my sin to God. Let me confess. Let me be ashamed. Let me agree. And thou forgivest the iniquity of my sin. Instead of confessing to have shame, as I confess, shame is running away. Shame is running away until I became more free. I became free indeed. I'm not feeling pain again. I, I'm not disturbed again. No. A woman said, I, I did great harm against my husband. I said, if I tell this man what I did, I will be hated. He will spread it. I will be cast out of this house or whatever the devil gave her, gave her as imagination. But it became too much. I must say it. Yes, I can't rest. That immorality that you did against your husband, you must go and confess. And there was no rest. No amount of fasting would do it. No, please pray for me, pray for me. No, amount, no man of God will solve that problem. It is your confession. You're opening your mouth and saying that thing. And she said, when she told her husband, it's love now. She became peaceful. Instead of being ashamed, shame vanished. Shame was just a threat Satan threatened you with. It's not reality. Because God gives glory to the man that works on the truth. God gives protection to the woman that speaks the truth. God gives answer. Ye shall speak the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Ye shall follow the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Ye shall confess the truth, and the tension of your life, the shame of your life, shall disappear. That is what she saw. Confess it. So that the Lord can give you thorough cleansing. Thorough. Again, consecrate yourself to God for sanctification. He wants thorough cleansing, purifying for holiness in the heart and in your life. 
For this to be done, you must go beyond ordinary Christian profession. You must give evidence of dedication to God. Show you are willing to do it. It was when David came to Saul and said, I am ready to go. Thy servant is ready to go against this uncircumcised Philistine. David said, ah, okay. Let me dress you with my armory. I will dress you now. It is as you come before the Lord. I mean business. You have destroyed those property, all those charms, the rings in your hand, rings, earrings in your ears, dirty skirts, all those things you are wearing, seductive dresses. Yes, all those bobbing, bobbing punk, bobbing J5, bobbing Satan, bobbing gods, bobbing cow, bobbing everything. You stop those things above your hair no more then it shows you are ready to walk with God. Then you will see God also come to make your heart thoroughly holy. He will sanctify you holy. In the book of Romans, chapter 12, Romans, chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Romans 12, 1 and 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed but the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. I'm begging you, brethren. God has shown you mercy and has brought you to himself. He has forgiven your sins. Now, Present your body a living sacrifice. You are still alive. You have not died. But live as a dead man to this world. All those girlfriends, no more. All those boyfriends, no more. All this getting careless money, no more. Suffer poverty. Instead of going to waylay somebody, Go and steal phone and so that you can sell and always have money in your pockets. So far, go and do genuine work for money. If money doesn't come, stay like that. God will feed you because you want to serve him. Then you are showing seriousness. You're not going to those clubs again. You're not going to those parties again. All those your friends that refuse to, be, to believe in Jesus, separate from them. Separate. Present your body a living sacrifice. You are still alive, but behave as if you have died in this world to the pleasures of this world, to the people of this world. Mrs. Beauty, did they call you so? No, don't accept that name anymore. In those days, when they call you, you shake your, your buttocks. Don't shake it again. Don't shake it. Dress properly. Those tiny dresses, so that they can see you, see your shape, change. If you don't have clothes, come and see the church. We're the one who preach to you. We will take care of you, give you good clothes, so that you don't put people into sin again. Yeah. Yeah. That is what we're saying. And my brethren everywhere, take note of this. All these ladies who don't have, some of them is only trousers they have. They don't have clothes. Pants, as they call them in other places. So help them. Change them. Let them become glorious in Christ, in appearance. Yes. So, 
If just you are serious, then God will take you to the second level. That is sanctification of your heart. He will do it. Because of your consecration. You have changed your thought. In those days, you used to think that if you don't give yourself to boys, to men, to test, how will they marry you? But change that thought now. Change that thought. Because since they have gotten you cheaply, they are looking for another person, not you again. That's why you are not marrying. So change that thought. And know that my marriage comes from God and not from my efforts. Not from the advice of sinful men and women. Once you know this, you don't need to struggle about because you want to marry. No. Pray to him. He will give you in the right time. You have not married. God is still working. So be peaceful. You want the, he wants the best in your life. Consecrate yourself. Daniel purpose in his heart that he would not defile himself with sin. And God gave Daniel the empowerment to live holy life. Because he made up his mind. Daniel chapter 1 verse 8. Daniel chapter 1 verse 8. The Bible says, But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Why? King's food was first sacrificed to idols. The animals were first sacrificed to idols before they were brought for those in the school where Daniel was to eat. Daniel said, I can't eat things sacrificed to idols. It's a defilement to the life of righteousness and holiness of God. I won't do it. I won't eat it. Please, I don't need those meat. Dentists of the king, they are defiled. Stay away from alcohol. Stay away from cigarettes. From smoke. Stay away from whiskey, hot, strong drink. Stay away from parties where these things are shared freely. Stay away from weddings where you are inspired to do evil, eat evil. That is it. Where it requires so, do it. Let God know you are serious. He will take you to the second level by himself. He will sanctify you. Job said he would not commit sin. Never. As long as he lived, God answered him. Look at it in Job. Chapter 27, Job 27, yes, the Bible tells us his promise, the promise he made, the promise he made, verse 3, well, let me start from verse 2. And as God liveth, who had taken away my judgment, and the Almighty, who had vexed my soul, all the while my breath is in me, and the Spirit of God is in my nostrils, my lips shall not speak wickedness, nor my tongue utter deceit. God forbid that I shall justify you. Till I die, I will not remove my integrity from me. My righteousness I hold fast. I will not let it go. My heart shall not reproach me so long as I live. 
I am in a trouble. I cannot tell how it came. And people are telling me that it's God that is doing it. They are trying to confuse me. Well, one thing is this. I have made up my mind. Sin will not be in my life. My tongue shall never tell lies. I shall not side the wicked. My righteousness shall never diminish. No. And as I live, there is no day my heart will smite me because I have done evil. I will not do evil. And when this man did this promise, see how the Lord helped him. See the description given of him in Job chapter 1, verse 1. There was a man in the land of Uz, whose name was Job. And that man was perfect and upright and one that feared God and eschewed evil. That's how the Lord said it of him. Because he made up his mind, God justified it. God did it for him. God gave him the grace. God purified him and gave him holiness. That's what God wants to do to you. To give you holiness. Yeah. See what God even told Satan. God told Satan in verse 7 of Job chapter 1. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feared God and eschewed evil. This is divine testimony concerning this man because the man made up his mind and God also said, I will help you. I will do it for you. I will cleanse you. I will give you the power to live holy. So that's what God is saying. That's what God is saying. You are now to make commitment to God that you will serve him. That you're going to live for him. Never to leave him anymore. That you are ready to suffer persecution from your father, from your mother, from your brother, from your sister, from anyone, from neighbor, from church. Because of your determination for God. All the days of your life. Pledge before the Lord that you will not go back to your sin. Do what Ruth did. I will never go back. I've chosen this God to be my God. Then the Lord will sanctify you and make your heart clean and holy to serve him acceptably. In Leviticus chapter 20, verse 7 and 8, Leviticus Chapter 20, verse 7 and verse 8. Sanctify yourselves, therefore, and be ye holy, for I am the Lord your God. And ye shall keep my statutes and do them. I am the Lord who sanctify you. Since you have made up your mind to keep my word, I will empower you. I will, give, I will do the miracle in your life to make you keep my word. Yeah, I will do the miracle. I will remove those things that trouble human beings. I remove them from your life. I will change your thoughts. I'll put the correct thoughts in your heart. A thought of peace and righteousness. I will fight those lusts troubling you. You will not be lost enough after men or lost enough after women anymore. I will fight pride in your life. You will not be thinking thoughts of pride anymore. 
I will deal with anger in your law. You will not be overcome with anger anymore. I will walk in your heart to remove envy out of your heart. You will not be envying people anymore. I am going to walk sufficiency and contentment in your life. You will not be covetous. Looking for things. Give me, give me. No, 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 no. That will not be your problem anymore. The Lord, I am he that sanctifies you. So God wants to sanctify you. That's what he called you. Make you clean. Make you holy. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. 1 Thessalonians. I read. Chapter 5. The Lord is great. Verse 23, I mean verse 22 to 24, he says, Abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very God of peace sanctify your holy. And I pray God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless, Unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Everybody read verse 24. One, two, go. Faithful is he that called you. Who also will do it? Depend upon this God who has called you. He will do it for you. All those demon spirits that have been struggling over your life, you won't see them again. Because of the intervention of God. You that have been consecrated by your parents to idols, those idols will not come again because of the decree of God over your lives. You that every night you'll be going out, some forces will come and carry you out, they will not come again. Angels will take over. I say, angels will take over. The armed robbers will not come because soldiers are on the guide over your life. That is what God will do for you. Now, number three, God wants to pour the power of his spirit upon you for end time service. End time because you are in end time. The power of his spirit is for service. God wants to do it. Yes. He wants to pour the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit power upon you as promised in the Old Testament. As for the Holy Spirit, it's in you already because you are born again. You are a child of God. But his power is, is, is what has not been uh, released in full measure in your life. Some powers are there because you believe in Jesus. You trust in his word and the Spirit himself is in you. But as a sect as a definite incoming occupying of power in your life they, it has not yet come until the, the Lord pours it into your life some of you were baptized of the Holy Ghost this morning how many of you the Holy Ghost came on you this morning wave your hand you were you received the Holy Ghost wave, wave your hand yes. stand up upon your feet let other people know you spoke in tongues this morning you spoke in tongues this morning yes wave those hands Wave those, stand up and wave those hands because more, more is coming down. More is coming down. Every other person, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah, more is coming. Power of the Holy Spirit. Because God wants to use you. He wants to empower you. He wants to use you. Yes. In Joel chapter 2. Verse 28 and 29. Joel chapter 2. Verse 28 and 29. The Bible tells us here saying. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. 
So God wants to pour his spirit, the power of his spirit upon your life. To prophesy, to receive visions, dream dreams, be filled with the gifts of the Holy Spirit for service. God wants to do so in your life. Yeah. That is his promise. The power of the Spirit is meant to make you effective and vibrant soul winner for Jesus. The Holy Spirit power is the promise of the Heavenly Father for you to make you effective and much fruitful in the Christian ministry. The Bible says that God desires for you to be fruitful and bear much fruit. He wants you. You are fruitful. You are doing something, but he wants more. You have first degree, say, go for master's. Go for doctorate. He wants to increase grace in your life from one level to another. Baptism in the Holy Spirit is another level of grace. He wants to lift you up there, to operate in that level, to do more for his name. Yes. In John chapter 15, verse 8. John chapter 15, verse 8. The Bible tells us here, saying, Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. He wants you to bear much fruit. Show clearly, I am following Jesus. Fruit of righteousness, fruit of service. Acts of Apostles, Chapter, four, chapter 1, verse 4, verse 5, and verse 8. Acts of Apostles. Chapter 1, verse 4. The Bible says, 4 and 5. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which said he, ye have heart of me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, not many days hence. Verse 7, verse 8 rather. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jeru Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Ye shall receive power. And that's exactly what the Lord will do in your life. Put power in you. God wants to make you an instrument in his hands for the battle against Satan and human forces that are working as canker wombs in the church and in humanity to destroy their relationship with God. He wants to make use of you as a battle axe. In Jeremiah chapter 51, I read verse 20 to 23. Jeremiah 51, verse 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee, I will break in, piece, in pieces the nation. And with thee, I will destroy kingdoms. And with thee, will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee, will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. And with thee, will I break in pieces man and woman. And with thee, will I break in pieces old and, the, and young. And with thee, will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee, the shepherd and his flock. And with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and the yoke of, his, of oxen. And with thee I, will I break in pieces captains and rulers. That's what God wants to use you. In this end time, I handle religions. 
I seal the mouth of these opposite religions through you. I will handle witchcraft in the church through you. I will handle witchcraft, illuminati, and the activities in the society through you. I will use you to do great things in human life, to set people free from prison, the prison of the devil. I will use you to handle principalities and powers. I'm going to make demonstration of the power of sonship in your life to cause you to demonstrate my power for the last time before I carry my church home. I want the world to know I'm real. I'm going to use you to cause human beings to know I am real. I am there. Jehovah is there. Tell them he is there. God is there. I'm going to use you to demonstrate my power. Oh, Lord Divine, demonstrate your power today in the midst of your children. Let your power come down. God, as you have promised, so let it be. God, as you have promised, let it be. Send down your power. Send down deliverance. Send down healing. Send down empowerment. Send down Holy Ghost. Oh Lord, baptize your people. Let your presence be visible. Let your presence be mighty among us. As I'm praying, is that worship him in your heart? As I'm praying to him, just be worshiping him in your heart. Oh Lord, touch the man, touch the woman, touch the child, touch the boy, touch the girl. They are all your handmaid. You met us all. Jesus, you met us all. Jesus, do according to your word. Transform their lives. Jesus, transform their lives. Yes, Lord. Use us against the devil. Use us against evil in the church, in the society. Jesus, use us to break yokes. Break yokes in the lives of people. Jesus, set your children free themselves. Prosper them. Prosper them. Give them jobs to do. Jesus, hallelujah. Rise up upon your feet and let's go and worship him. Darling Jesus, darling Jesus, oh my darling Jesus, you're a wonderful man. I love you so much, darling Jesus. Oh my darling Jesus, you're a wonderful you know what my darling Jesus. You're a wonderful man. Wonderful man. Oh, yes. Darling Jesus, darling Jesus, oh my darling Jesus, you're a wonderful man. I love you so much, darling Jesus, oh my darling Jesus, you're a wonderful, wonderful man. Love him. Worship. Wonderful man. Amen. Now, you want the Lord to, 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 you, you, have, you have decided to dedicate fully to Jesus. You say, God, make me holy. 
I am for you. Promote me to holiness. I will serve you just as the pastor has said. The pastor was talking about me. God, can you raise up your hand? The pastor was talking about me. I've met him on mine. I am that man the pastor was talking about. Commit yourself to God because I'm going to pray the prayer of sanctification and holiness. I want to pray the prayer of sanctification. Let my pastors just raise up their hands. Let the Lord do extra work of holiness in your life. Yeah. 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 Extra work of holiness. Extra work of holiness. The Lord will do extra work of holiness in your life. Glory, glory, Jesus. Already the presence of God has come down. The presence of God has come down. The presence of God has come down. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. Power! The presence of God has come down already. The Lord sanctify you holy. The Lord accept you. May God accept you. May God accept you. The presence of God has come down already. The presence of God has come down already. My brother, my sister, be, be thou made holy. Let the God of heaven make you holy. Make you holy. Let God make you holy. Let the God of heaven make you holy. Let all filthiness be taken out of your life. Let all filthiness be removed out of your life. God sanctify you holy. Let the power of transformation, the power of transformation come upon your life. The power of transformation come upon your life. The power of cleansing. Let the Lord cleanse you. Let the Lord cleanse you. Let the Lord sanctify you holy. Let the Lord sanctify you. Holy Ghost is walking. The Holy Ghost is walking. The Holy Ghost is at work. It's at work. Purify them, Lord. Purify them, Lord. Sanctify them, Lord. Sanctify them, Lord. Jesus. 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 Sanctify them, Lord. The power of God. The power of the new creature. The power of cleansing. Let it come upon your life now. Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Lay hand on yourself. This man, repeat this. I commit myself to you, God. I have promised to serve you. You have made me to be born again. I want you to make me holy. I present my life to you for holiness. I will be holy. I will serve you in holiness. Purify me, Lord. Cleanse my life, Lord. Thank you for hearing me, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Now I'm praying for you. Almighty Father, your word says, this is the confidence we have in you. That if we ask anything, According to your will, you hear us. And when we know that you hear us, we have the petition that we desire of you. Now divine, it is according to your will that your children are asking to be holy, to be sanctified. Therefore, let the power of sanctification, the Holy Spirit of sanctification, walk in their lives, sanctify them holy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let the blood of Jesus, the blood of the cross, pass through your life, pass through your heart, pass through your tongue, pass through your mouth, pass through every part of you. The Lord make you holy. The Lord bring holiness upon you. I say receive the holiness of God. Holiness, 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 holiness. In the name of Jesus. This is wonderful. God has done, God has achieved a great thing today. The Lord has achieved a great thing today. The Lord has taught you today. The Lord has blessed someone today. The Lord has blessed someone today. The Lord has blessed someone today. 
Hey, the Lord has blessed someone today. It is I, it is you, it is I, it is someone by our side. It is you, it is I, it is someone by my side. The Lord has cleaned someone, the Lord has cleaned someone. Hey, watch it, the power of the Lord is working. Glory to God in heaven. The power of the Lord is working. The Lord, hey, thank you, Jesus. Hey, the Lord has cleaned someone today. It is you, it is I, it is someone by our side. It is you, it is I. It is somewhat by us. Hallelujah. Now, I am praying one by one, section by section. The Lord says I should pray for those who need job. You don't have work. You know, it's not the mind of God that you should be idle. You need money for, the, for yourself. You need to buy a Bible, a good Bible. You need to transport yourself to the church to, for evangelism. You need to support the work of God. You need many things to do with money, even to help your family members and to help the poor. God wants you to have a job. How many of you want a job from God? Aha! Uh-huh. Get ready. The Creator is going to give you one. Whatever job is suitable for you, it is the type that he wants for your life. It is the type that he wants for your life. You will have it. Almighty Father, this Lord are your children. You want them to be busy because you said in your word, occupy until I come. Therefore, Lord, they must be occupied doing something. You don't want them to fail. You frown at the one that had that buried his own talent. You, 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 you commended those ones that traded with it. Now go, keep these people occupied. Give them job. Give them work. Give them work. Give them work. In the name of Jesus. Give them work. Almighty Father. Touch the government of the country to create jobs and they will receive the job. They will be among the people to get this job from the government in Jesus' name. Our Almighty Father, let industries come up. Let companies come up. Let factories come up. Every kind of job, every kind of thing so that these people can have job. Lord, do it. God, do it. God, do it. In the name of Jesus. Child of God, I open the way for you to have job. By the will of God, receive, 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 receive. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. And for you, and for you, the Lord is going to raise you up a businessman. The Lord will raise you up a businessman. I'm going to pray. The money to do business will come. The partner to do business with you will come. Let the door open. Let the door open. Let the door open. All the businesses that collapse in your hand, the Lord restore them to fullness in Jesus' name. The power of God is here. I said the power of God is here. Glory, glory. Ah, the Lord says I should pray for those who need wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. You need wisdom to manage your life. You need wisdom to marry. You need wisdom to keep a family. You need wisdom to train your children. You need wisdom to be intelligent in school. You need wisdom in your workplace. You need wisdom against the devil. You need wisdom. I'm telling you, you need wisdom. You need wisdom to serve the Lord. You need wisdom to go to heaven. God, whose name is wisdom, say, 
Ask me to give wisdom to these people. Some of you, your intelligence shall be special. Yes. Ah, ah. Yes. Because all the, the Lord gave wisdom to me, but Solomon's wisdom was special. I said Solomon's wisdom was special. And the Solomons that are here. Now, people brought container. You, you went and brought GP tank. I'm telling you, wisdom will fill it. <laughs> the Lord will fill it. The Lord will fill it. Lift up your voice and say, I need wisdom, Lord. I need wisdom. I need wisdom to manage my life. I need wisdom to manage my family. I need wisdom to manage the people. I need wisdom to know how to speak, to know how to do all things. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm. In Jesus' name, we pray. Almighty Father, the God of wisdom you say you want to give wisdom to your children you know what wisdom we do in their lives you know the gain you will have when they work they walk in wisdom wisdom is required for soul winning therefore father give them what you have promised them let them receive Wisdom from God in Jesus' name. Everywhere, anywhere they are cheated in life, they are oppressed in life, they are unfruitful in life because of no wisdom. Your word says, he that lacketh wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally and abred it not, and it shall be given him. Father, we ask for it. Everybody receive it. Ask, receive, receive wisdom. Receive wisdom. Receive wisdom. Get it. Get the wisdom. Get the wisdom. Get it from God. Get it from God. Collect. Collect wisdom. Receive wisdom. Receive it. From God. From God. From God. From the creator. Receive. From God. From God. From God, from the Creator, wisdom, 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 intelligence, 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 Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord said something. He said, I will give them favor. Tell them they should ask me to do something favorable for them. There's something you want God to show you favor. It's favor. Just because of his kindness, he should do it for you. He is ready to answer you. Something. The Lord said it himself. Pray for them, I will show them favor. Tell them to ask favor. That thing, that, that special kindness, by his special kindness, you want him to do it. Tell him, open your mouth and tell the Lord. Worship. Glory. Hallelujah. Special favor. Esther received favor in the sight of King Ahasuerus. Esther came with request and that request was granted. She got favor in the sight of King Ahasuerus. Tell God to show you favor. For one thing, this one thing, oh Lord, oh Lord, this one thing, show me favor. Show me favor. 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 Receive. Favor. 
the Lord show you favor. May the Lord show you favor. In Jesus' name, we pray. Not for your merit, but because of his kindness. God will do it for you. God is showing you the kindness of a king. It's like a prisoner. There's no hope to come out of prison. But the governor came to that prison that day. And somebody touched the governor. Tell this prisoner that they should. Tell them to set this prisoner free. And they, for no thing, nothing, you have no hope. But the, the prison warder called you, or corrective officer, correction officer, called you and said, the governor said we should allow you go. Hey, that is the favor coming upon you today. That is the hallelujah. Receive. That is the favor coming upon you today. That is the favor the Lord is showing you today, not by your merit, but by the favor of God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Almighty Father, human beings show mercy on earth. Men found favor in the sight of fellow men on matters that they never merited. And it is done unto them. Esther found favor in the sight of King Ahasuerus. And he said, Esther, what do you want? I, I will give you even to half of my kingdom. You are the creator. Let your children find favor in your sight. Let your children find favor in your sight. Let your children find favor in your sight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That thing that is not by merit, by the kindness of God, not by merit, not because they qualify for it, but because of your kindness. Lord, do it for them. Don't do it. Lord, do it. Hey, receive. God has done it for you. Everybody rejoice. Rejoice. The Lord has shown you favor. The Lord has shown you favor. The Lord has shown you favor. Receive. Be happy. Be happy. Celebrate. 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 With a clap of it. Clap of it. Clap of it. Everybody. To celebrate the Lord has shown you favor. It is done. It is done. It is done. Glory. Hallelujah. Hey, Jesus. Glory to your name. Be happy. Be happy. Be happy. Be happy. God did it. God showed you favor. God showed you unmerited favor. Ha! Oh, hey, hey! Glory! 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 Thank you, Jesus! Amen! I, wa I was checking up in my spirit whether there is a song I should sing that some people will marry, some people will marry. Some pe the Lord said, I should pray. Amen. He wants to give wives and husbands. He knows the good one. He will give you the good one. Wives and husbands. Wives and husbands. You will receive. An angel will just fly to you. Say, ah, what have you come for? I have come to show you your wife. <laughs> Amen. 
And this distance that the Lord brought out from sin and cleansed them like this. Hmm. The Lord will choose very well to arrive at the correct husband to take care of them. Yes. Yes. Now therefore, tell God that you are one of them. Tell God that you are one of them to receive wife, to receive husband. Tell God, I am one of them. You who have married, don't talk about it. Just say, God give them. God give them. <laughs> Be saying, God give them. God give them. And you say, God, I am one of them. In Jesus' name, we pray. Any husband, any minima that you have gotten now that is not your husband, may God separate the two of you. <laughs> any woman that you have gotten now, I'm talking about in, you are still engaging, not that you have married her. Any woman that you have gotten now and you are doing courtship or you are doing whatever, and it is not the correct one, may God separate you. And let God give the correct one. Let God give you the correct one. Almighty Father, we are praying. Jesus. For your children. That have to marry. Lord Jesus. It's not easy. Getting a woman that fears the Lord. It is not easy. Getting a man that fears the Lord. But Lord, I am praying, you know your children, match them together. Father, you know where they are living, distance is not your problem. Match them together. My God, let the Holy Ghost that moves in the valley of dry bones, that cause the bones to move, bone to bone, bone to bone, bone to bone. Oh Lord, connect these people, connect this breathing, connect this breathing, connect the breathing by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost. Connect them, connect them, connect them in marriage, connect them in marriage, connect them in the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Yes. But these ones I'm going to mention, you're going to come forward here. You will come forward. God wants to show power of salvation. The power of deliverance. And that concerns those that are addicted to drugs, you are an addict to alcohol, to drugs, you are you have been you have been arrested, you have you, you have been captured by masturbation, by internet, by the internet, captured. The Lord wants to break that force. Just be coming forward. Quickly be coming forward. Don't waste time there. Be coming forward. Quickly. Quickly. Come forward. Come forward. Internet people. Yahoo, 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 yahoo. Be coming forward quickly. Yahoo, 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 yahoo. Drug addict. Drug addict. Drug addict. Be coming forward. Yes. Move there. Yes. Get there. Quickly. Power. 
The power of God, the power of God, the power of God, break your yoke, 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 lesbian, lesbian, homosexual, 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 move forward quickly, move forward quickly, come quickly, come quickly, wherever you are, outside there becoming, 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 the power of the Lord will break your yoke, the power of God, power of God, power of God, power of God, the power of God, everybody be praying, everybody pray for them. Everybody pray for them. Everybody pray for them. Everybody pray for them. Pray for them. The Lord break their yoke. Yahoo, 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 Yahoo. That be coming. That be coming. The Lord will break you. The Lord will set free. The Lord will lose your bondage. Lose you from body. Lose you from body. Lose you from body. All lesbian and homosexuals. All lesbian and homosexuals. Come forward and be free. 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 Call upon Jesus. Call upon Jesus. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, he shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, he shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, he shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, he shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, he shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, he shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, he shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, he shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, he shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. Power, power, power of God, power of God. Break your yokes. Power of God, Lord Jesus. Walk upon them life. Walk upon their life. Walk upon their life. Walk upon their life. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Masturbation must die. Lesbianism must die. Homosexuality must die. Jesus, Jesus. Everybody call on Jesus. Let him set the people free. Break the yoke. Break the yoke. Break the yoke. Break the yoke. Set them free. Set them free. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The Savior of mankind. 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 Jesus, set them free. Save them. Let's 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 save them. Jesus save them. Jesus save them. Let's save them. Deliver them, my father. By your power. By your power. By your power. God break the yokes. Jesus help them. Jesus help them. Jesus help them. Jesus help them. Deliver them. Jesus help them. Jesus help them. In Jesus' name we pray. Lay hand upon yourself. Lay hand upon yourself. Power from heaven is coming to loose you. Power from God is loosing you now. Jesus Christ is setting you free now. Lay hand on yourself and shout, Jesus! Deliver me now! fire of the Holy Ghost. Get out from their life. By the power of God, get out from their life. In the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit. I break the power. I say, get out. The power of God, loose them. 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 By the God of heaven, be free. Your creator makes you 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 free. Your creator. Power of God. Power of God. Power of God. Set them free. So God set them free. Jesus. Jesus. Set them free. Let the power vanish. Let the power vanish. 
immorality of any kind, lesbianism, homosexuality, masturbation, be destroyed in their life, 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 in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I say, you spirit of Yahoo Yahoo, you spirit of the internet that have rendered these people captive and you're destroying the life of these people. I come on fire upon you. The fire of God, the fire of God, the fire of God, fire of God, fire of God. Burn up, 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 burn up. I shall be burned. I shall be burned. I shall be burned. I shall be burned. Oh Lord, give Break the yokes in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Take over their life. 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 Surrender quickly. Surrender. 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 Surrender to Jesus. Surrender to Jesus. Confess your deeds. Confess your deeds. God, don't hide them. Don't hide them. Jesus will make you totally free. So whatever you have in hiding, make sure you see the church leadership. Wherever you are, confess it. Nothing will happen to you anymore. I make a decree in your life. All that power that you collected from Habalish, that I will now turn in your mind, turn in your head, I break them in your life. In Jesus' name. 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 All those powers of addiction, power of the mind that has already rendered you captive. By God, I lose you. By God, I lose you. Be loosed. Be loosed. Let your thoughts come properly. Think properly now. Think properly now. Think properly now. God give you a new job. May God give you a new job. May God give you a new world. The Lord has set you free. The Lord has set you free. I am delivered. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Rise up and be going back happy. Go back happy. I am delivered. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, so, so wonder Jesus they do. <laughs> I say, now so, so miracle, Jesus they do. Hey, oh, God, <laughs> hey, wash it. He has buttered my bread and sugared my tea. He has buttered my bread, he has sugared my tea. Worship him. Hey! Oh, he has done it. Hey! Oh! Hey, he has done it for me. Oh, he has done it for me. Richard! More miracles are coming. More miracles are man. Now so, so miracles. Jesus, they do. Hey! I say, now so, so miracles. Jesus, they do. <laughs> Done it. Hey, done it for me. 
I say, not so so healing, Jesus they do. I say, not so so healing, Jesus they do. Thank you, my father. Done it. Hey, I done it for me. Hey, 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 watch it. He go do it for you, he go do it for you. He go heal you, your sickness, I hear your disease. Hey, we have done it, done it. Oh, he has done it for me. Hey, he has done it for me. Hey, it's time for healing and miracles. It's time for every man of sickness, every man of disease to be to be gone. Now. Jesus has told you he's going to do miracles here. He's starting to just lay hand upon your place, lay hand upon yourself, and say, Lord, here am I here. Don't pass me by. Don't pass me by. Do your miracle. Do your miracle in my life. Take it away. Take it away. Jesus, take it away. By your power. By your power. By your power. By your power. Take it away. Take it away. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Take Take that sickness away. Take that sickness away. Take that sickness away. Tell the Lord. Tell the Lord. Tell the Lord. Tell the Lord. That sickness from your head to the sole of your feet, your stomach, your liver, your kidney, your bladder, your womb, your boom, your blow. Healing. 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 Hallelujah. The word says so. This sign shall follow them that believe. They shall heal the sick. 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 Receive. They shall heal the sick. Receive. The healing of Jesus. The healing of Jesus. The power of God. Power of God. Power of God. Crush it. Crush it. Disappear. Let that sickness disappear. Let it disappear. Oh. Call upon him. Call upon him. Mm. Jesus. Ah. The Lord do your miracle upon your children. Ah. God do your miracle upon your children. Total healing. Total deliverance. Total healing. Total deliverance. Break the yoke. Ah. Break the yoke. Break it. Loose the people. Jesus. Loose the people. Let the demon come out. Let that demon come out. Come out. Come out from their bodies. Come out from their lives. Come out in Jesus' name. By the power of God, I bind you. You darkness. You spirit of, of infirmity. I bind you. By the word of God. Cast you out from their lives. I cast you out from their lives. I cast you out from their bodies. By the Lord Jesus. By the Lord Jesus. By the Lord Jesus. 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 King of kings and the Lord of lords. Oh Lord salvation, the savior of mankind, savior of mankind, the healer, the healer, heal, 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 heal. Healing is bread for the children. Healing is bread for the children. Eat your bread, eat your bread, eat your bread. Healing is bread for the children. Eat your bread. Healing is bread for the children. It is bread. It's the food for children. The children of God, healing is your food. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. I'll be healed. I'll be healthy. Be well. Be well. Recover. 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 By the Holy Ghost. Recover. By the Lord Jesus. By his stripes. By his stripes. By his stripes. By his stripes. By his stripes, by his stripes, 
Be healed. Be healed. By stripes. Be healed. Be healed. By stripes. Be healed. Be healed. Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Set your people free. Yes, Lord. Set your people free. Yes, Lord. Set your people free. In Jesus' name we pray. Almighty Lord, we are celebrating your resurrection. We are celebrating your ascension. We are celebrating your being enthroned at the right hand side of the Father. Lord Jesus, you live. Lord, we need your presence here today to do special healing. Special healing. Special healing. In the name of Jesus. Lord, heal your children. Heal your children. Deliver your children. Break the yokes. Break the yokes. Destroy the enemy. Destroy the enemy. Destroy the enemy. Destroy the devil. In the lives of the children. I command every sickness. Whatever is your name. By the power of Jesus. Vanish out of that body. By the authority of Jesus. Let the angels remove you. Let the angels remove you. Let the angels remove you. Thank you, Jesus. Let your angels walk. Let them remove sicknesses. Let them remove sicknesses. Let them remove diseases. Let them remove diseases. Blind eyes open. I say blind eyes open. Let the deaf hear. Let the dumb speak. The paralyzed arise a world. All kidney problem be healed. All liver problem be healed. All diabetes problem be healed. All hypertension problem be healed. All pain be healed. All barren woman, barren man, barren woman be healed. Every kind of sickness, every kind of disease, I declare healing over your body. Receive. 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 Hallelujah. Open your mouth and thank him. Open your mouth and thank him. Open your mouth and thank him. Jesus. 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 Worship him. Thank him. Give glory. Give glory to him. Oh, thank you. Worship. What manner of man is Jesus? What manner of man is Jesus? What manner of man is Jesus? What? What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. He sets the sinner free. He made the blind to see. He takes away disease. Hallelujah. He brings the dead to life. Hey, worship him. Your heart. Jesus is Alpha. Alpha Omega. Jesus is Alpha. Alpha Omega. So I praise him for his Alpha. Alpha Omega. So I praise him for his Alpha. Alpha. 
I say, <laughs> with Alpha Omega, Jesus is Alpha, Jesus is Omega, and I praise him for his Alpha. I praise him for his omega, and I praise him for his alpha. I praise him for his omega. Jesus is alpha. Jesus is omega. Jesus is alpha. Is alpha and omega, so I praise him for his alpha. Alpha, omega, so I praise him. For his alpha, alpha, omega. Oh, yeah, alpha, omega. Jesus is alpha, alpha, omega. Oh, I praise him for his alpha. I praise him for his omega. I praise him for his alpha. I praise him for his omega. Like Jesus, I want to be, to live forever. Like Jesus, I want to be, to live forever. So I praise him for his Alpha, Alpha, Omega. So I praise him for his Alpha, Alpha, Omega, Alpha. Like Jesus, you want to be, to live forever. Like Jesus, you need to be, to live forever. So we praise him for his Alpha, Alpha, Omega. So we praise him for his Alpha, Alpha, Omega. Alpha, Alpha, Omega, Jesus is Alpha, Jesus is Omega, and I praise him for his Alpha, I praise him for his Omega, and I praise him for his Alpha, I praise him for his Omega, and I praise him for his Alpha. I praise him for his omega. Oh, I thank him for his alpha, his alpha omega. Jesus is alpha. Jesus is omega. Jesus is alpha. Jesus is omega. And I praise him for his alpha. I praise him for his omega, and I praise him for his alpha. I praise him for his omega. Amen. Oh, yes, Jesus is alpha. Amen. For three times, you will shout. The name of the almighty power in the universe. What is that name? Jesus. What is that name? Jesus. What is that name? Jesus. That is it. Power is here. 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 Almighty power. Almighty power, almighty power, almighty power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People shall be set free. People shall be set free by the power. Angels are already around. Angels are already around. You will see how they will deal with demons. They will deal with demons here. They will deal with demons here. They will deal with demons here. Jesus. Hello. Your soul is precious. You will not go to hell. By the power of God, you will not go to hell. You will not go to hell. Yes. Cooperate, cooperate, cooperate. Now, the Lord has told you, many of you are into witchcraft, marine and all. Becoming out now. Becoming out quickly. Becoming out. Father, coming out. 
angels are ready to do work here. Come out quickly. Come out. Marine, witchcraft, and all this occult business. Come forward, people. Don't, if you stay there and the power of God handles you, it is for yourself. It is, you will regret that the Lord calls you and you're not coming out. Witches and wizards, marine spirit, occultic people. You're any dealing with them. Just be coming forward. Just quickly be coming forward. We're waiting for you. We're waiting for you. Be coming. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Be coming. The Lord is calling you. The Lord is calling you. The Lord is calling you. Be coming forward. Witches and wizards. Witches and wizards. Marine spirit. Occultic people. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. Wherever you are. Don't, don't mind the type of club you're wearing. Be coming forward. Be coming forward. Be coming forward. Be coming forward. Ah, ah. I said the angels are here. 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 The power of God. 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 Break the yoke. 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 Be coming forward. Quickly be coming. Be coming. Be coming. Make way for them. Be coming. Quickly. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. Be coming forward. The power of God will set you free. Today is the day. Today is the way. Today is the day. Today is the day. Everybody be coming forward. I say, don't waste time. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. Whatever you are. These are not the only people here. You are there. The Lord is calling you. If you refuse, he will deal with you. And your judgment will be terrible. Your judgment will be terrible. Your judgment will be terrible. Your, open your mouth and, re, and rebuke them. Everybody open your mouth and rebuke them. That rebuke them. They don't want to come out for salvation. They don't want to come out for salvation. They want to, they don't want to come out for deliverance. Rebuke them. Rebuke them. They must come forward. They should come forward. They should come forward for their deliverance. For their deliverance. Come forward. Send power to rebuke them. Send power. Loose them. Loose them. Let them come forward. Let them come forward. Hallelujah. We're waiting for you. 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 The power of God. Power to deliver is here. Power to deliver is here. Power to deliver is here. Send power against those ones that are standing. Send power. Send power. We send power against you. Who are still standing there? I say power upon your life. You are standing there. You are standing there. The hand of the Lord be revealed upon you. The hand of the Lord be revealed upon you. The hand of the Lord be revealed upon you. Let them come forward. 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 The Lord is calling you for salvation. The Lord is calling you for salvation. The Lord is calling you for salvation. For your deliverance. For your deliverance. Where are you? Where are you? Don't waste time. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. The Lord is calling you for your deliverance. He's calling you. He's calling you. He's calling you. I'm Robert. I'm robbers. Come and join them. I'm robbers. You gang. Come and join them. You are a member of a gang. Come and join them. Come and join them. Come and join them. Deliverance is coming. Deliverance is coming. You are arm robbery. You are in arm robbery. Come and join them quickly. You are a member of a gang. You are a member of a gang. You are occulted. You are occulted. You are occulted. Come and join them. Come and join them. The power of the Lord will set you free. The power of the Lord will set you free. The power of the Lord will set you free. Everybody pray, pray, pray. The Lord will bring them. The Lord will bring them. Let the Holy Ghost 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 bring them. For salvation, for salvation, for salvation, for salvation, for salvation, for salvation. Witches and wizards in the work among the worker. Witches and wizards among the leader. This is your time. This is your time. This is your time. Amen. Amen. That one should be carried to, 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 to prayer warriors. So that it doesn't disturb us here. Carry that one to prayer warriors. Now. Carry that one to prayer warrior so that it doesn't disturb us here. Listen to me. God created you. Everybody say, God created me. <laughs> God created me. He said, you are still standing there. You are among the people he is calling. 
you think you have, it is of age that you have overgrown? Did you overgrow witchcraft? God is still, God says you are still standing there. You are bothered because it is public. Have you gone in private to see anybody and confess real witchcraft? He said he would deal with you. Since you have, your rebellion is purposeful, you are fighting him purposely, God says he would deal with you. You have now chosen to align with Satan. Your own is finished. Your own is finished. Where is Satan in the lives of these people? Where is he? The Lord wants to show you mercy. You are locked up there. Let's pray for these people. The shame, you think it is shame. Today is the last day of shame. Let the power of the Lord descend upon them now. Break their yokes. Open your mouth and pray. Power of God. Power of God. Power of God. Break their yokes. Set them free. All property of witchcraft. 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 Burn up. Burn up. Burn up. Burn up. Burn up. Burn up. In their eye. In their stomach. In their teeth, in their blood, in their flesh, in the hair of the body, in their clothes, in their houses. Jesus, 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 Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Almighty God, you are the creator of these people. The devil came to spoil them, to give them second eye, eyes, second ears. To change the test of the lie. To make them evil. Power belongs to God. By your power today, every property of witchcraft in the lives of these people, in their eyes, in their stomach, in their ears, in the body, internal and external, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. God, you were the one that brought the children of Israel out of Egypt from the tax masters, from Pharaoh. Every power of man and devil that holds these people, get them out from those powers in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, you are the God that made dry bones to become a human being again. You made dry bones in the valley. Very dry. They rose up and became mighty army. These people that have been mutilated by the devil. These people that have been marked by the devil. Let your power be released upon them. Break their yokes. Break their yokes. Yeah. Break their yokes. Let them become normal in Jesus' name. All the taxmasters, 
needed initiators. The people in the coven. The queen. The king. Whatever is their name. Die. 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 But a bad You will not have power over these people anymore. You will not have power about these people anymore. They have become for Jesus. The property of witchcraft have been destroyed. The property of witchcraft have been destroyed. They shall not hear the voice of the bird. They shall not hear the voice of the serpent. They shall not hear the voice of a witch. Ma, woman, child, boy. I declare you free. I declare you free by the cross of Christ, by the cross of Calvary. Break your yoke, break your yoke, set you free, set you free. I break your yoke, I break your yoke, I set you free. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and begin to thank the Lord. Open your mouth and begin to thank the Lord. You go and sit down. Open your mouth and begin to thank the Lord. The blood of Jesus. Go and sit down. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of the blood of Jesus. The blood of keep on singing. Yeah. You, we have prayed for you. When you go back, meet with your coordinator, meet with your overseer, confess everything to them so that they can follow you up with prayers and give me a report. For you who have not decided to come out because you want to remain in the army of Satan, God says he will handle you. Now, you are under the spell of witchcraft. They have poisoned your life. They are affecting your family. Death, bad luck, poverty, whatever, sickness, disease is affecting your family. The Lord says he wants to visit your family. He wants to set that family free. He wants to set your family free. Bring your brother, your mother, your father, your sister, bring them before the Lord. Bring them before the Lord and yourself. Every work of witchcraft in your family, every work of witchcraft in your life, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Break them, break them, break them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them. In Jesus' name we pray. Almighty Father, send your angels to their homes. Remove the spell of Satan and witchcraft from their lives. Prosperity should come back. Deliverance should come to their family. Take away the sickness is killing their family. Stop the spell walking in their family. In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah, sit down while we listen to Mama Linda for a while. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, he wants to take some food. God said he's going to show you a sign and wonders. Uh, sit here. So that you can be watching it here. Okay, yeah, do, do. Amen. God say he's going to show you a sign and a wonders in your family. Amen. Amen. Look at the sign. Listen to what he say he's going to do. That the witches and wizards in your family that have held your family for years, that are controlling your family, 
that you are going to see massive death in your family. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Be your auntie, your uncle, your mother, your father, your cousin, your brother, your neighbor. That will be holding you bound. You are going to be seeing death. You will be seeing death. Jesus said that he has decided because of you is breaking that yoke. That have held your family for years. Jesus says, some of you that are here are the one that put your family in cage. You have tied your family because you have witchcraft power. And Jesus said, I want to deliver you because I have taken a promise to deliver families. So if you know you are the one, they say, close your father or your mother, or they have given you poison, you have been doing it to your siblings, or you have put your family in a bondage. This is the time for deliverance because God is going to handle you. When they were calling witches out, I see some people are sitting there. There's a lady here, your a tie that you are tying is snake. It's not normal a tie. A serpent. Let me describe you now. Because I'm very angry when God wants to show you mercy. You people are playing with it. Young ladies in the marine, you are 30 in number here. And you have one that your a tie is snake. And you know yourself. The Lord told daddy that tell them to come out. And let there be quietness in the hall. And that this should decree. Wherever you are sitting, the power of God will come upon you. Wherever you are sitting, the power of God will come upon you. Since you don't want God to deal with you gently, we are praying that God will disgrace you. The Lord will do it for us in Jesus' name. And then there are people here, you know yourself that you have a marine husband. Demon used to visit you. Why are you sitting there? Why are you not coming out? A demonic husband is coming to you, making love to you, and it has reached a point you are seeing the person. A boy is here, your girlfriend is a marine from the sea. Why are you not coming out? Why are you not coming out? Are you afraid of them? You know this is what, is, what you are passing through. How can you have a girlfriend as a marine? And you know, he's dealing with other girls that you have been dating. You know the problem. Anyone you dated or you date, the marine will handle the person. A young girl, you know you have a marine husband. And they have told you that you will not marry. And you are sitting down. God is showing us things. And I was just disturbed. Why are they sitting down? You don't want to be delivered. You are playing with God. God say, I am going to release my power on, on, upon you. Until you confess, you will not have peace. Until you confess, you will not have peace. It's going to decree restlessness upon you. The wicked run it when no one pursue them. Today, you witches and wizards, if you don't come out now in the count of seven, you will never have peace. I use the name of Jesus. One. Jesus says he's going to show you that the power you think you have is handling you. You are many here and you are sitting down. You want to make us a liar? We serve a living God. He says if you don't come out, you will know that he's the God that creates heaven and earth. Witches and wizards are in his hand. He's talking to women that are here. If you play with him this time, it's a hour of death. Jesus said I'm going to be killing. You will hear it live. Wherever you are, come out. You are a marine, you are a witch. You are a wizard. Come out. Because your life is going to end soon. Jesus said, I will release my power on you. Even when you hide and go, you will be running as if you are mad until you come and confess. You will confess before you have peace. Your parents will be thinking that you are losing your mind. He will not give you peace. Come out. Three, you are sitting down. The power of God will come upon you. The power of God will pick you out. Jesus will manifest his power. You have been doing evil. You are sitting down. Why are you sitting down? Are you not tired of killing? You have closed your family in a boat to a small girl, a small boy like you. 
You are the one manipulating your family. Release that family now or else you will go for it. All the witches and wizards in your family that have closed your family for long. Nothing good is coming of your family. When you go back, Jesus said, I should tell you. Begin to hear. You will begin to hear. Maybe your auntie, your uncle, your cousin, your grandma, your whosoever. They will be dying. You will come back in December and testify. That power that hold your family for long. Jesus said, I am going to do a sign and wonder that you will know that God of all is is a real Jesus. That is a sign. If your mother is a witch, go and tell them that whosoever is a witch in my family that have tied this family, repent now. Because you will be hearing barrier everywhere. If your sister, your cousin, your siblings, whosoever is a witch in your family, the hour have come. In the name of Jesus. Four. I am counting seven. You are a witch. You are a wizard. You that lady that you are a tie is a, is a snake. Wherever you are, come out. All the men you have slept with, you have a bottle that you have captured many boys, many men in your coven. Wherever you are, before God handle you now, we will see the manifestation of God very soon. Don't worry. Jesus said, I am here. Jesus said, look at these little ones. I am talking their heart in their heart. Do you know the God we serve? Do you know who is Jesus? He said, he wants to give you free deliverance. And you are sitting there. Don't play with Jesus. I am calling witches and wizards. You that have a marine husband, marine wife. This one is not I'm dreaming. You are seeing the man coming to you. And it's a demon. Come out. Four. Wherever you are, Holy Ghost begin to disturb them now. Jesus begin to disturb them now. Holy Ghost begin to bring them out. Let the chair be hot for them. Let the ground be hot for them. I say fire. Upon their head. Upon their body. Upon their head. Fire. Nobody to leave your home. 
Nobody should leave your home. You can't run away from God. Fire outside. Hey. Bring them, bring them, bring them. Holy Ghost fire everywhere. Jesus manifest. Jesus. Usher, pursue them outside. Come into the hall. Nobody should leave the hall. In Jesus' name we pray. Please just be silent. God is walking. Just be silent. Six. Everybody close your eyes. Don't be distracted. Lord Jesus. Secret thing belongs to you. Wherever they are. Jesus now. That boy. That woman. That man. Thinking they have power. God. Holy Ghost. Take over now. Holy Ghost. Take over now. Holy Ghost. Take over now. Be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Jesus, take over them now. All the witch and wizard, the witches and wizard, even from the internet. Father, take over them now. Father, take over them now. Jesus, let the power of God come upon them. 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 Anywhere they are. Come upon them. Fire. Fire. Holy Ghost. Come upon them. Holy Ghost. Come upon them. Come upon them. Come upon them. Power. Let the Lord expose them. Jesus arrest them. You will fall under the anointing. You will know we serve a living God. Jesus. Let the Spirit of God move now. The Spirit of God move now. Jesus arrest them. 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 From their head to the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Fire! 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 Holy Ghost, fire! Holy Ghost, fire! Blood of Jesus, 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 upon them, 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 fire, fire, from the back, fire, in the middle, fire, in the front, fire! Let the ground be hot for them. I say you will come out. I command you to run out. In the name of Jesus. Come out. Fire. Holy Ghost. Manifest your power. It remain one count. Wherever you are, come out. Jesus said he will release his power on you. You will be running up and down as if you are mad until you confess. Don't try the power of God. Don't go with your witchcraft. Whatever thing that is in your stomach, you are, your swallow ring is in your stomach. Snake is in your belly. Come and tell the Lord to deliver you. By your blood, you cross, bring, Principality, raise up your hand and worship him. Jesus, the power is still moving. G, close your eyes, close your eyes and raise up your hand. By your name, you establish authority. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The righteous, hey, Jesus, shout at them, Jesus, shout it, shout it, Jesus, you have conquered, Jesus. Now we are going to release the blood. 
The blood that speaks better than the blood of Abel. We overcome the devil by the blood of Jesus. We are going to pray for the blood. And let the blood of Jesus be acid upon agents of darkness here. Let us go. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. The power of God. Anywhere they are. Blood of Jesus. 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 Power. Fire. The blood of Jesus. Upon your head. Upon your back. Upon your head. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Number seven, by the power in the name of Jesus, let the Lord arrest them now in Jesus' name. Let there be silence in the hall, silence in the hall. The Holy Ghost is moving now. God, pick them up. Jesus, bring them. Close your eyes, don't be distracted. Lord Jesus, move now. Father, let your power come upon them. Jesus, move. Oh God, let the angel of God move. Jesus, 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 the name that above all name, the name that the devil fear, the name Jesus, Jesus, upon that witch, upon that wizard, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 from the back, in the middle, this side, left side, Jesus, 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 fire. Father, let the power of God burn them now. Burn witchcraft power now. God arrest them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. I release fire. Release fire. I release fire. I release Holy Ghost fire. I release Holy Ghost fire. They will not have peace until they confess. They will not have peace until they come out. We decree and declare torments upon them. 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 Fire. Amen. 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 Please give them the paper to write their names, their states, and their number. It's not a matter we can handle here now. Not a matter of time. Amen. All that are mighty in witchcraft, in Horemon, men and women, in the leadership category, in worker, and they want to walk to squeeze this movement, we are going to report them to the Almighty God. We are going to report them to Jesus. Let him not leave them alone. Let him set a battle against them. All that are mighty in witchcraft, whichever way they think they have hidden themselves and are doing evil all these years, report them, report them. Talk to Jesus. Talk to God about them. 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 Give them to write their name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. You that are in the front here, stand up for prayers by the power of God. Stand up. God brought you, so he should settle your case. Stand up upon your feet. Stand up upon your feet. 
God brought you, he should settle your case. God was the one that brought you out. He should settle your case. God was the one that brought you out. He's your creator. He doesn't want you to go to hellfire. You would have been standing inside hell now. You would have been in hell now. But God doesn't want you to go there. Give a clap offering to Jesus. Give a clap offering to Jesus. He doesn't want you to go to hell. He doesn't want you to go to hell. He doesn't want you to go to hell. Get rid of that lady. He doesn't want to go to hell. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. You don't want this one to go to hell. You don't want them to go to hell. Power. The power of God. God. Angel Michael will come with a troop of his angels for battle against the forces of darkness in the lives of these people. Father, let battle be stretched now. Battle battle for the names of these people that they will be delivered from the hand of the devil. They will be delivered from the hand of the devil. By the mighty power of God, I break, your, I break the bondage over your life. I break it in the name of Jesus. I break your bondage in the name of Jesus. Your name must be out from that group. Your name must be cancelled from that group. By the power of God, the God has sent angel to Egypt to deliver the children of Israel. Let him send angel to the coven. Let him send angels to the witchcraft room and deliver you in Jesus' name. All the grip of witchcraft over your life, marine spirit, occultism, all those personalities, those people that are doing it with you, for the God of heaven, Lord Jesus, God, overcome those people perfectly. Overcome them. Their thoughts and plans shall not work in the lives of these ones. These ones have come up publicly. They have put away shame. As Jesus despised shame, they despise shame to meet with Jesus. Let them find the Lord in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Oh, powers of sin, power of Satan, power of mermaid, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed in your life. Destroy it. God destroy it. God destroy it. God destroy it. God destroy it. In Jesus' name. From now, all the power to fly, power to swim, power to move in the night, power to do what? To change into animals. It shall never happen. You are delivered. God, break the yokes. God, loose them up. Give them life. You brought them here. You brought them here. You brought them here. It's not to shame them, it's to serve them. Not to shame them, it's to serve them. Not to shame them. Therefore, God, serve them. Serve them. Serve them. Serve them. Serve them. Receive salvation. Receive salvation. Receive salvation. Receive salvation from God. From God. From God. From God. Raise up your hand and receive. Receive salvation. Receive salvation. Rest up your hands and receive. Rest up your hand. Receive salvation. Receive salvation from God. From God. Be a new man. The Lord change you. A perfect change. A perfect change. A perfect change. A perfect change in your life. You will not see yourself there again. Jesus has left you. Jesus has left you. You won't see yourself there. Your soul has been delivered. Your spirit has been delivered. Your life has been delivered. The Lord will give an angel church over you. The Lord will give an angel church over you. Don't be afraid. You will not go back there. Don't be afraid. You will not go back there. In Jesus' name, you are free. You are free. You are free. You are free. I shall hear your report. I shall hear your report. Your life shall be a testimony. No shame, but joy. Because God has received you. You are now a precious daughter of the living God. A precious child of the living God. The glory of the Lord be upon you. The glory of the Lord be upon you. The glory of the Lord be upon you. 
Yes, your testimony will save other people. Your testimony will save other people. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody give a clap of it to Jesus. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. So, as you go, I want to get a report about you. Meet with your leaders. Meet with your leaders. And we've gotten your number. We want to get in touch with you. God bless you. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. Go and sit down. He is doing good. Everywhere he was doing good. The prayer warriors to carry these other ones. Let them take them outside. The troublesome one should be taken outside for prayer warrior. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. Almighty healer, heal the lepers, win the people so he, they started walking. Even today, my Lord is doing good, is doing good. He was doing good. Now, bring him here. Please, lead him here. Let them lead. They can follow him. Okay, leave it, leave it. He will do you good. He will do you good. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. Almighty healer, he the lepers, with the people, so he, they started walking. Even today, my Lord will do you good. He will do you good. He was doing good. Pastor Jacob, collect all the number, collect all the names, all the names. Amen. Today is the last day, and the Lord is doing this thing. Your Lord has not yet finished. Please come quickly, December. Come quickly. Let him continue. You hear me? Total freedom. You will go to heaven. You will go to heaven. Hallelujah.